Excuse my uh, fake waking up, but um, I didn't have an intro prepared, all right? <laughs> so, good morning, everybody. It is 6.14 a.m. on January 25th, 2024, and we are about to head out to Tampa, Florida. Well, not yet, not yet. I'm actually catching a flight from Philadelphia International to Miami, Florida. I'm going to Miami for a day. Go from Miami to Tampa, Florida for GCW and then Saturday the next day in Tampa St. Petersburg Florida is going to be the Royal Rumble and I still have to find my bonnet because my hair is just doing all types of shit right now because I didn't get a chance to get it retwisted but y'all we about to go hurry up get this shit packed up ready to go and we about to be out all right so talk more soon <laughs> Guys, we made it in to American Airlines. Um, haven't been on a flight in a while, but I'm excited. All right, guys, I just made it through the security check. Uh, it took only like 15 minutes, so I overestimated how long it was going to take, but we are finally through. Uh, our plane boards in about 20 minutes, so I'm going to see if I can grab something to eat here. Seeing as I've been to Philadelphia International like close to 20 times now, I know where everything is. Uh, I might be meeting another person here because I think we might be on the same flight. Um, they are running a little behind the schedule, so I'm not going to lie. Uh, they may not make it, but I, I mean, my, my hopes are up here. But anyway. We are about to grab some to eat. We're gonna chill out, then we're gonna board the flight. So how are we feeling on you got the aisle seat? Well not the aisle seat, you got you got the seat right near the right near yeah, the door. The window seat. Mm, how are we At feeling? At least it's not American. So I'm a little okay with this, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we are actually in Miami, Florida right now. I just touched down in the Miami area about an hour ago. Just got to the hotel recently, and now we're about to go get some food because I'm hungry. I'm debating between Chipotle, Chipotle, or Panda Express, and I haven't had Panda Express in a long time, so I think, I think I'm feeling Panda Express. We're going to get some uh, some cheap Chinese food to call it. All right, let's, let's go inside. All right, guys, so it is currently 4 p.m. here in Miami, Florida. I am in my hotel room. I just changed my outfit because I'm about to head over to BRCW. It is the company that I am working with to do media for. I'm doing like content for their um, TikTok and Instagram pages. So we're about to head over there. I'm gonna take you guys with me real quick to see what it's like to be kind of behind the scenes of a wrestling show. So hope you guys like that. So one of the best things about working for a wrestling show in any facet is that you get to go behind the scenes and figure this stuff out. So I actually, in my hands, got the script for the show. I have never in my life seen a show script before. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything, but like you can see at the very top of the page, it says show format. I feel like you, you know that one meme of um, Tom Holland when he accidentally picked up the uh marvel avengers infinity war script and accidentally flashed it to the screen and it said like confidential on it that's how i feel holding this goddamn show front of my face we got to go over this thing and then i got to go over to wrestlers and coordinate with them exactly what do they want me to shoot what is the best part of the match that they want me to catch all that good stuff so you know like i said coordinating this wrestling stuff it's not the easiest thing in the world but it's also really goddamn fun so stay tuned we got more to cover
Good morning, y'all. It is 7.15 a.m. here in beautiful. So I have to, we're in Miami, Florida right now. Still connected to the airport. I'm staying in an airport hotel right now. Uh, but yes, today is Friday, January the 26th, which means it's my cousin's birthday. So happy birthday, Darren. He was part of the Royal Rumble stream last year. So happy birthday to him. So basically, today we are going to Tampa, Florida, one day before the Rumble for two reasons. One, the Royal Rumble Access Store started yesterday, which I had no knowledge of there actually being a Royal Rumble Access Store, but we got to check that out for sure. And two, dos. There is a wrestling show happening in Tampa one day before the Rumble, and that is GCW, look at me. But that being said, guys, I'm super excited for this weekend. I'm gonna take you along with me. It's my second Royal Rumble and second Royal Rumble weekend, and it's all leading up to WrestleMania 40, which is gonna be my fifth, fifth WrestleMania weekend and my third consecutive WrestleMania. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. Let's fucking get into this. All right, guys, so it's been a minute since I actually did a vlog, but I'm actually on the USF campus right now. The bus that I took brought me all the way out here, and it's like an hour away from where my hotel actually is. So I'm like, you know what, at this point, even though I got my bags still with me, I might as well just like stay on the campus still. So what we gonna do is we gonna stay on the campus in the general Tampa area, wait until 8 p.m. when GCW starts, and then we're going to go to look at me now. And then from there, we're going to head back to the hotel, which my hotel is on Treasure Island, on the beach side. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, my day today is a little hectic because I don't really have a lot planned. It was really just a secondary travel day, if I'm being honest. All my stuff don't start for another four hours, so we just got to kill time until then. Hey, hey, hey. for TCW, look at me now. This is about to go wrong. So I am literally at a wrestling show right now. And uh, just found out that Vince McMahon is uh, out of the chair. Bye. Bye bye. Yo, yo Malcolm, how are you feeling? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. What are you thinking, Vince McMahon? What are you thinking? Hey, hey. Vince McMahon, he's gone. Yeah, I saw that. He stepped out. What are we thinking? I think it's over you. Yeah, exactly. Out of, out of power, out of power. Thank you, no. Exactly. Thank you. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. goodbye. <laughs> everybody it is january the 27th so there's only one thing happening today and that is the royal rumble baby so we are currently live right now in tampa florida i am on treasure island which is about 15 minutes away from st petersburg and that's about 15 minutes away from where the royal rumble is actually taking place 
Uh, some people call it Tampa, some people still call it St. Petersburg, but I have a very lovely view from my hotel, if you guys want to see it. Actually, you kind of could see it from the, uh, the mirror in the back, but let me get you a really good view of this real quick. Check this out. And then the beach, you can see right across, like it is beautiful outside right now. It's currently 10 a.m. My back half is killing me because I woke up with a Charlie horse and I feel like I could barely walk, but you know, that's gonna wear off at some point. But I'm about to head out in one second because I forgot my toothbrush at the other hotel. So I need to go get a toothbrush. And then once I get that toothbrush, there's a, uh, there's a Waffle House like right over there. You wanna know something? I've never, never eaten at Waffle House. I've always heard about it. I always see the fights online. I've never had Waffle House before. And I feel like the fact that there's one right next to my hotel is a direct sign that I should be eating Waffle House this morning. So I'm going to get up, get a toothbrush and get some goddamn Waffle House. Once we get Waffle House, we might be heading over to the beach over there. After we head to the beach, we're probably then going to head to Raymond James Stadium because I want to see the Rumble Access Store. So we'll see what happens there. And then obviously, Royal Rumble is tonight. So I'll document my day. I'll let you guys in on what's going on. And I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we finally made it outside with my boy Alejandro. And we are at the Waffle Like I said earlier, it's right across from where I'm staying, the Waffle House. I am so excited because, again, I have never eaten Waffle House before. Oh, wait, is that a, is that a, is that a, is that a pelican? Huh? season baby let's get it Watch. let me check out let's see what kind of merch they got over here we got rumble merch we got a uh, all black cm puncture is there something on the back a little plain jane okay so bear in mind i don't have any like wrestling jackets per se but this stone cold jacket is really tough now the question is how much is it see i don't know about 150 tough that's that's a little that's a little much that's a little much we got some hats. You know, whenever I see that red, white, and black, I always think Nikki Bella. I'm like, you can look, but you can't touch. Hats over here. What else we got? We got CM Punk hats. We got the WWF legend Shawn Michaels jacket. Hold on, now this one. Oh, this one is sick. This one is sick. I ain't got 150, but this one's sick. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, boo. Yeah! What else we got here? Oh shit, seeing your money in the bank. Wait a minute, so 2019 we're in Rumble, I actually took a picture with one of the Money in the Bank things. So I gotta get one kind of similar, man. This, how much is the Money in the Bank refresh? Uh, uh, it's not priced. That worries me. But it's really sick though. I kind of fuck with that. I need someone to actually buy me this and send it to me. You can see we repping the uh, Survivor Series CM Punk shirt. We got the Hell Froze Over shirt. A little funny story, you know, CM Punk's first WWE run, I never got any of his merch. Not the white shirt, not the yellow GTS shirt, none of that. So my first piece of CM Punk merchandise was actually in 2021 when we went to AEW. And this is only my second piece, so I might have to add to my collection. Now. But I'm looking at this Seth Rollins visionary shirt and I'm sitting here like, wait a minute now. This is actually kind of clutch. And it's $40. I mean, I know he's not showing up tonight, but I'm sure WWE Shop is going to have this one online, and that's all that matters. Oh, God, they got the Cody Rhodes Pharaoh plushie. 
How much is this going for? It's not priced. You know, whenever things are not priced in a superstore, that worries me. It tells me it's about to be like really absurd. So if it's not priced, you gotta keep on moving. You gotta keep it moving. I don't wanna get all the way there and then it's like, oh, it's $150. No. Mm -mm. Sorry, not doing it. They got a big old assortment of belts, but nobody's ready to defend any of these belts that they're gonna buy. So, I mean, I don't know. A bunch of cowards in here. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This is like my fourth or fifth access store i've been to wrestlemania access i've been to rumble access in 2019 and um it's not quite as big as the first rumble access i went to or as big as wrestlemania but i'm liking it this is good stuff in here okay this cm punk mini might go hard though if i didn't already have this shirt on i would buy it but i feel like that kind of is that's kind of too much to have like the hat and the shirt. I feel like that's a little too much. So I might have to, I might have to lay back on that. No, I need the, you know what I need? I want the Judgment Day shirt, but I want the one like Rhea, Dom, and then the one with R2 for that bottom. I need that Judgment Day shirt. I don't think I saw that one in here. I saw someone wearing it, walking out, but I don't think they have it. This one looks dope, but I really, I, I wish it was a bit darker because this looks kind of, looks kind of cheap. Yeah. Because it's so light. Yeah, I like that. See, that would be dope in black, I feel like. See, I don't know about me. I'm like a big, I'm like a big ass kid, and whenever I wear white shirts, I feel like if I eat spaghetti, I'm just gonna mess it up. So I don't know. I don't know. We got the Ray Ripley jacket. How much is this going for? One fifty. Uh, you know what? I would pay one fifty for this jacket only because it's leather. I saw some other stuff here for one fifty, and I'm like, no. But this jacket, I would. Not that I have one fifty to pay for it. The King Booker stuff right next to the Hulk Hogan stuff. What a mockery. See, they got Royal Rumble slippers. This would be appropriate if Matt Riddle were returning, but I, I doubt it. Also, like, the foam on the inside, like, I feel like this is going to be very uncomfortable to wear. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know who thought that was a good choice. I mean, it looks cool, but I, I would not wear that at all. Wait Who's with me? Maybe it's a Ric Flair yeah. We got LWO. We got Austin. Logan Paul with it's a look. No way, it's a Logan Paul wig, bro. Oh, you can see, you can see the bandana. Bro, that's there. crazy. A Logan Paul wig is fucking insane. You can see the bandana slightly. But who's yeah. buying the Logan Paul? Who's buying a Logan Paul wig? I, you are me. I said, I said Ric Flair. I'm like, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought nor guessed a Logan Paul wig. Like, the kids who love their prime, I guess. Now, now, um, mind you, the Logan Paul shirt. I'm gonna buy one of these Logan Paul shirts. I don't know about forty dollars, but I do need me a Logan Paul shirt. You better rock your body now. Everybody. Try not to have anxiety. Try to find my seats. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! And then I finally found my seats. So this is where my original seat was, all the way at the very tippy top of the lower bowl section, right beneath the balcony, obstructing my view of the Tron and just about everything else in the arena. I was not standing for this, so I had to go find a different seat. Unfortunately, this process took 13 entries of me waiting in line for them to tell me that they were going to relocate me to section 300. And I said, oh, hell no. Me and my boy ended up finding good seats in the very end, but I did miss a couple entries. Here are a couple entrants that I did catch in my miss. Shit, wait, what? Naomi? Oh, shit!
Thank you! Thank you! Two, one!
we go like this shit. Here we go like this shit. That's a whole act of friend. AJ couldn't do it. It's only Roman Reigns doing that shit.
Be that year for Coach Watch. Ludwig Glazer's been a limited. Baby, 
Gunther, Cody, Punk, and Drew. Uh oh, Punk faking him out. Down a Guther, Cody and Punk. Oh shit. God damn, not y'all blocking my view. Oh wait, no. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Oh wait, oh, 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 they're both over the top. They about to go like 10 more minutes in this damn ring. I know. So the show is over and we are now in the stadium store and I have just located the Jade car dealer shirt. I am in pure happiness right now. Yeah, yeah, skirt, skirt, skirt. All right, we need we need a medium in here. We need a medium in here. Medium, 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 extra large. I think mediums are above. Maybe. Oh, thank you so much. All right, we out. Hey, 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 hey. Go Junior, go Junior. Go Junior, go Junior!